Hey guys, in this video I will show you how to calculate solar array size and battery size for your needs and all of this calculation is going to be based on real data. I have this uh, 4000 watts solar array and uh, I'm going to calculate based on uh, information based on production of this array. I'm running this for about seven or eight months so I have enough data to see how many kilowatt hours this array producing. Let's go to MPPT charge controller and see how many kilowatt hours a day I'm getting from this solar array. So right here in the middle we can see MPPT charge controller and basically this device is responsible for taking power from solar panels. So this wire is going from solar panels and this is stepping down from solar panels voltage which is 90 volts right now to the battery storage, uh, 55 volts, 54.4 uh, volts right now. And uh, this device shows history how many kilowatt hours every day my panels produced. So now I'm going to attach screenshots for May. Right now it's end of May. We'll see how much power I'm getting and how much power we're getting in the winter time. Okay, so based on this screenshot that we just saw, we can calculate how many kilowatt hours we're getting from one kilowatt of solar panels. So our array is 4,000 watts and, and at the winter time we're getting 12 kilowatt hours in one day. In the summer time we're getting about 27 plus minus of course kilowatt hours a day. So now if we divide 12 kilowatt hours by four we're gonna get how many kilowatt hours we're getting from one solar uh, one, from one kilowatt of solar panels in one day. So 12 divided by 4 is going to be equal 3 kilowatt hours a day. So we're going to use this for our calculation. And in the summertime, if we divide 27 divided by 4, we're going to get 675 kilowatt hours a day. Okay. So this is first data that we need for our calculation. And second data is going to be consumption. So we'll need to, to see what is our actual consumption and for this one we have a few ways to uh, to get this information first way is to go to your utility provider if you have one if you have grid power and just check your daily usage so here's a screenshot from my uh, provider and you can see that uh, it, it's providing information how many kilowatt hours i'm using every hour entire day this is first way. Second way is going to be to get something like uh, energy monitor. So here's a just example from one of the monitors. How it works, you can you install these CT sensors in electrical panel to your uh, wires, to main inputs, and then this is gonna track kilowatt hours going to your house. Also daily, by minute, by like how you would like, very detailed information. This is second way. And third way is going to be manual one. You can, you can take any power adapter, you can take any appliances that you are running and you will see information there, amps and uh, volts. How many amps and volts this is output, uh, this is outputting. Or if it's just using 120 volts or 240, you can get um, how many watts you're using. To get watts, you will need just to, to multiply volts by amps and you're gonna get watts. And to get kilowatt hours, you will need to multiply these watts by how many hours in one day you're using these appliances and you're gonna get watt hours. So this is what we're looking. So this is third way, manual. So now when we know all of this information, let's take example that uh, our, uh, just as example, that our total consumption in one day is going to be 20 kilowatt hours and our daily consumption is going to be 15 and nightly five. So total 20 and we'll need this number to calculate how big is our battery bank should be. So next step, let's take two examples and I'm gonna show you example how to calculate for completely off grid or for system when you have grid power available as a backup. So in my calculation, I'm going to use two examples. First, uh, assuming that you're building your system for RV or cabin where you don't have grid power available and you need to cover your needs entire year. So for this, for this scenario, we're gonna use winter time production, three kilowatt hours a day from one kilowatt of solar panels. And the calculations is going to be 
easy here. So we need to cover 20 kilowatt hours in one day. And we know that one kilowatt of solar panels covering three kilowatt hours. So if we divide just 20 divided by three, we're gonna get, we're gonna get six, 67 kilowatts. So this is how big is our array should be. For the battery size, we need to cover five uh, kilowatt hours and I'm recommending to upsize your battery at least 30%. It's better to upsize 300% to cover like days uh, when it's cloudy or rainy just to have extra capacity, but at least consider covering at least 30%. So if we do five kilowatt hours multiply by 30%, we're gonna get 6.5 kilowatt hours battery. So here's a solar array, here's a battery size. I will talk cost in a second. Uh, and um, let's see how many power we're gonna get from this array in the summertime. So if we multiply our solar array 667, multiply by 675, we're gonna get about 45 kilowatt hours and energy in one day. So this solar array will produce so much power in the um, in the summertime. So now let's talk about second example. Second example is going to be you have grid power available. You don't need to cover all of your needs using just solar energy. You can you, you can always use some power from grid. So in this case, we can use this coefficient here. And the calculation is going to be exactly the same. We will just need to, to take our consumption 20 kilowatt hours a day divided by 675. And then we're going to get 2.96 kilowatts. So this is size of our solar array. Battery size is going to be exactly the same because our nightly usage uh, will, stay, will stay the same. Now let's talk about prices. And uh, please note that price is actual for today. If you're watching this video after six months after release, it might be completely irrelevant because uh, prices for lithium batteries changing like really quickly. So for first scenario, uh, we need this size of solar array. And for calculations, I'm going to use 325 watts uh, solar panels, which I have on my roof. This is, as of now, best price to, to watts ratio for solar panels. And one panel cost $180 as of today. So to calculate how many panels we need, we need to, to, to take our total array uh, power. 6,670 watts divided by 325 and we're going to get how many solar panels we need. So in this case we will need about 21 panels and if we multiply 21 by price per panel 180 so we're gonna get $3,780. So this is price for solar panels. It's going to be additional price for racking system, but this is outside of this calculation. Next, let's calculate battery. How much is a battery is going to be? And here is going to be battery price. So for battery price, you have two options. First is to buy from Amazon. Right now you can find battery uh, on Amazon. And I'm talking just about lithium iron phosphate batteries. Um, in my opinion, it's the best batteries for solar systems. So you can find 1.3 kilowatt hours battery for 500 bucks each. And we know that we need uh, our battery to be 6.5 kilowatt hours. So if we divide 6.5 divided by 1.3, we're going to get five batteries. And if we multiply five batteries by 500 bucks, our price for the battery is going to be $2,500. So this is first option. And second option is to build battery yourself. Right now you can buy cells from AliExpress, 200 amps cells, 16 cells for $1,250. And capacity for these cells is going to be, for 16 cells is going to be 10.2 kilowatt hours so almost twice more than in a ready-to-go battery additionally you will need to buy BMS 250 and some additional wires let's calculate this as a 150 additional so total price for this is going to cost you 1600 
So for 1600, you can get twice more capacity than ready-to-go batteries. And if you think it's complicated to build lithium iron phosphate batteries, it's not. I... All right, and now let's move to calculation for this part. For the battery, it's going to be same prices, 25 and 1600, but for solar panels, it's going to be less, of course. So if we, do, if we take 2960 watts, uh, divide by 325, we'll find that we'll just need nine panels. And if we nine panels multiply by 180 bucks, we are gonna get $1,640. So this is price for our system. Okay, so here's ex two examples, how to calculate size of your solar system, how to calculate size for your battery, and rough, uh, rough estimate how much this is gonna cost. I know that in a solar production, it's always going to be rainy or cloudy days when, you, you, when you're not going to get 3 kilowatt hours a day. So for this, you, can, you, you have a few options. First is to just get generator to cover these days and run generators to charge your batteries and cover your needs. Or you can slightly upsize your system uh, to install just a little bit more solar panels and uh, slightly bigger battery is going to cover days when you don't have full output from your solar system. Okay, guys, idea for this video is not to give you like ready to go solution, uh, what size of your solar panels must be. But this idea for this video is to give you just direction, how to calculate solar array, where to start and uh, like what is the steps is going to be just calculate your consumption and just roughly calculate uh, solar panels using real data. I hope you liked this video. If I missed any steps, please let me know. And as always, thank you for watching and see you later.